or there must be something on. It's Monsters, our favorite show. Shh, it's starting. <laughs> Go to sleep now and rest. Go to sleep, little Eric. Go to sleep, little baby. Mommy's tired. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. you. <laughs> Stop it, Wendy. This is motherhood. Get used to it. Day 97, Wendy's still held hostage. I'm through! The singing dog is tired! Eric, Eric, listen to Mommy. You're supposed to sleep. You're supposed to spend two-thirds of my life asleep. It says so right here. Remember, honey, we read this together last night, just after the national anthem came on. This isn't fair, Eric. This isn't what I expected. You're a microwave. I could take you back. No, honey, it's OK. Just close your eyes and think happy thoughts like sunshine and blue skies, little birdies singing, adoption. Why not? If we do it now, we'll both forget about it and we can block it out like it never happened. <laughs> Honey, it's just an option. Come on, Eric, happy thoughts, like... Like sleep. Sleep is so good. Come on, honey, do like mommy. Just close your eyes. It's so easy to... Prozac. Teddy! Oh, um... Right here on the table is, is just fine. Are you all right, Mrs. P? Your door was open. I, I didn't get to it yet. You know, you ought to be careful. That crazy psycho struck again. Did you hear about that? Good, good. It's so late. Anyway, you got eight pounds of ground shock, you got 12 pounds of pork chops, and you got three dozen hot dogs. Woo! You guys must really like to barbecue. Well, you know, meat is an important food group. Right, right. You are what you eat. Here. Thank you, Mrs. P. See you soon. Bye. Dinner again. How many ways can I serve raw meat? I could wrap it around a stick like a popsicle. I could wrap bacon around it. Wendy? No. Wendy? Uh. Hun, you're sleeping in chopped meat. Hun, where's Eric? Honey, the door was not locked. Oh, I, I just didn't get to it yet. Honey, I left 10 hours ago. Where's Eric? Uh, he's in his crib. He's not. I just checked. Oh, no. <laughs> he's up. I know. He's not in his crib. No, I, I mean, he's up there. Oh, look at that grip. Would you look at what he did to my grandma's swan painting? Get him down. Hello, baby. Santa brought a surprise for you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Come to Papa. That's a good baby. Yeah. Come on. That's a good baby. Eric, check this out. <laughs> That's my little linebacker. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Daddy loves you. 
Mommy loves you too. She's just a little tired. You nap now. You know, honey, I think he's got your father's nose. What? No, that's not what I meant. Oh, I'm just so nervous ever since he got Aunt Arlene's ear. Now, we warned her about leaning over the crib that way. Did he give you a hard time today, honey? <sighs> he didn't nap. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe Eric would sleep better if, if, if you know, you held him more. You could put him in one of those baby slings, you know? I was reading about bonding, and, uh... You left that in the crib. Oh, it doesn't matter. The point is, a baby needs to feel close to his mother. He needs to be held and carried. That way he feels secure. Now, according to the experts, a small child needs a... Small but dense. Honey, I know he can be an armful sometimes. Lois, I'm just no good at this. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a mother. No, you're great. I mean, honey, look what you're making for him. That is beautiful. Hey, we could add some raw egg around the side, make like a little I'm mold I'm just doing it because I feel guilty. He makes me crazy, Louis. He doesn't sleep and he gets into things and he's always fussing and I never know what he wants and I'm just so tired. Honey, it's, it's just all so new. It'll get easier once he starts to talk, you'll see. You gotta see him sleeping, he looks so sweet. Come on, take a look. What if he got out? Out of the house? What if someone sees him? So what? The neighbors will see him, our child, and they'll panic. And after they panic, they'll organize. The PTA will burn a cross on our lawn. And then one night, they'll come for us, wearing lederhosen and those little hats with feathers in them, carrying torches and chanting in German. And they'll scream for our baby and, and our blood. And they'll never invite me over for coffee or or Tupperware parties. And we'll have to put the house on the market. And the market is flat, Lewis. It's, it's flat. <laughs> it's OK. Lewis is here. I know what's wrong. It's a hormonal thing. Can you say that? No. Hormonal thing? It's called postpartum depression, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> Come on. Eric! Come on out, Eric. There's nothing wrong with my boy. He's just a... A 36-pound fang carnivorous mutant, that's all. A special child. Oh, try telling that to them at the birthing center. That special child nearly killed two midwives. They acted unprofessionally. I know it's not his fault, Lewis. Let's just find him. Yo, Wendy, your door was unlocked. Babs, this isn't a good time. Oh, please let me come in, honey. It'll only take a moment. You've been here a month, and I still haven't seen that baby. Where is that little bundle of joy? Can I see him? <laughs> Maybe later, Babs. Thanks so much for coming over, though. That is such a cute dress. Well, if it's a bad time, we get... <laughs> Eric? Come on out, baby. Babs! Wendy, I completely forgot. I have a little something for Eric. Uh... <laughs> Do you think he'll like it? Oh, he'll just eat it up. Thanks. This is really very sweet of you, Babs. Look, I know he's sleeping, but just a peek, please. I must see that mystery child. I won't wake him up, I promise. Well, OK, just let me see if he's awake. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at him. What a handsome boy. Is he a good baby? Well, he has his moments. Like now. Oh, my dear. I think he has your mouth. Look at that little rosebud. <laughs> Come out of there, you rascal. Quick. We got in the basement. <laughs> Sorry, I can't turn on the lights. I just don't want to wake him. Oh, I remember, my dear. It's such a blessing when they sleep. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I must tell you what Miss McGinnison told me. You really got to be careful. It's getting out of hand. Really, Wendy, you've got to be on your guard, and especially now with the little one. Louis, did you hear? The slasher struck again last night, three doors down. The Slothrops. They were away, thank God, but the policeman told me that their furniture looked like it had been dusted with a chainsaw. No one was hurt? The cat. They found the body in the backyard. They couldn't even... Well, the vet had to identify it by dental records. That's terrible. Senseless brutality. Why do people do things like that? I have no idea. Inadequate love. What? All kids need and deserve love. That's what the books say. It's the kids who don't get it that grow up to be these serial killers or these morning DJs. Love is the key. I believe that. Now, you take little Eric, for example. Louis! Babs, you must excuse us. You know, I believe you're right about that. Mm. I knew a child like that who was shunted from home to home, mm. not properly loved. It was very sad. What happened to him? Well, now he's a clerk at the Motor Vehicles Department. Good night, children. Babs, why don't I walk you home? Oh, thank you, Lewis. Be careful. I'll walk outside. I'll look in the locker room. Nothing. He's not in the house. I'm reporting a missing. No, wait, honey. What if it's Eric? What? The psycho. Honey, today wasn't the first time I left him alone. I just get so tired, and, and you know how he likes to chew. Wendy, what do you expect? He's teething. It's a phase. He's always teething. He's three months old and he's got 37 teeth. He was born with teeth. Richard III was born with teeth. And he was a king of England. And a play by Shakespeare. Richard III was a hunchback, homicidal, maniac king. What if Eric is the one? No, 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 no. That's crazy. Eric is just a fake, overactive kid. That's all. He never hurts anything. Not intentionally. Wendy, he's just a baby. So where is he? Is this a fur hat? Mm. Hats don't have tails. It's an ugly fur hat. Mm. With feet. And a dog collar. Lewis, this is Mrs. Merkin's Scotty dog. <laughs> <laughs> That nasty dog attacked my baby, huh? Oh, right. He jumped into Eric's mouth, then clamped Eric's jaw around his neck. Why not? Suicide in dogs. It's been documented. Uh, tell that to the ASPCA. You don't have to spell it out, honey. You can't understand. Louis, last night while Eric was out, somebody or something destroyed the Coomers. The family, the lawn furniture, the minor bird. Someone had to shut that bird up. Louis! What? No, my baby would never... Louis, face it. Last night, while Babs and I were in here cooing over a leaky Lisa doll, Eric was out shredding the coomers. Then he picked up Mrs. Merkin's dog, ripped off its head, and dragged it home. So why can't you love him back? What? It was an offering to you, Wendy. Can't you understand? He's asking you for your love. Okay, so here, you take them. Now what are you going to do with them? You see? You see? Arguing. Go to that place! Louis, I do love him. I try. But, you know, sometimes I think, well, what if he's not our baby? This is the hormones talking. Birthing centers make mistakes. Or maybe it wasn't a mistake. Sally Tankwitz delivered that same night, remember? What if she switched the babies? She has beady eyes and pointy teeth. 
That's it. You know, and if it's not my baby, I don't have to love it. I won't listen to this. Face it, Louis. He doesn't look like us. He's a Tankowitz. Untrue. He looks just like your dad. <gasps> don't say that. I'm going outside. Don't leave me with him. I need some fresh air. You're never here all day long. I work. Great excuse. Well, go ahead and escape. Just don't come home without any meat. Who says I'm coming home? <laughs> you do like to eat, don't you? I'll feed you, Eric. You don't have to go marauding through the neighborhood. I wish I knew what you were thinking. Are you thinking? Do you even know who I am? I wish you could talk. Might make things a lot easier. Give, Eric. Give. <sighs> Eric, if you're just going to play, you're not really hungry. Time for bed. <laughs> Eric, don't cry. I fed you, I washed you, I changed you. I'm sorry, I just can't do anymore. Go to sleep. Hi, Mrs. Prozac. You left your door open again. Teddy, what are you doing here? I saw your husband leaving early. Do you have any pets? I like pets. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm here to work, Mrs. Prozac. <laughs> I'm the guy, Mrs. P. It's me. The coomers, the slothrops. I'm the one. <laughs> I'll admit, they were a mistake, but I'm learning. I mean, they were good practice, but they weren't sexy. I mean, take the coomers. You knock off some 50-year-old guy with a big fat gut, and who cares? You're buried on the back page. You know what I need? Hot victims. Because hot victims make hot press. You want the press to jump, you got to do, like, movie star or prom queen. At least somebody that works out. But I'm not a movie star, Teddy. I'm all out of shape. I've really let myself go. But you're a young mother. That's the best. Nothing warms the heart of the general public more than a baby and its mother. It's built into the species. It's a survival thing. Yeah. You and your baby, Mrs. P. You're my ticket to the show. It's nothing personal. Strictly demographic. I like you. I've always thought I could talk to you. You can talk to me now, Teddy. I can listen. I got lots of time. I know what you're trying to do, but I don't have time right now. I gotta cut you and the kid up. Why? Why are you doing this? In my whole life, no one ever cared about me. Now they care. Now they care. Plus, I just don't want to deliver meat the rest of my life. Please. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Mrs. P. Good. This is a major statement for me. My manifesto. Oh, what do you think of this name? The Silver Slicer. What is that? A kitchen gadget? No! No, it's me, my name, my tag, my MO! <laughs> Who else is here? Nobody. <laughs> Mommy loves you. Wendy? Honey, are you all right? 
We're fine. You're holding him. What happened? I'll tell you about it later. Welcome home, Louis. I love, I love you, you, Wendy. I love you both. Oh, look, honey. <laughs>